This is a 3D map of the Joshi Mat. So if you can look at the Joshi Mat here, very good. Otherwise, I'll just do it for you. So this is the Joshi Mat town. This is the location of Joshi Mat town. So as you can see very clearly here, it is located on a slope. And here the land subsidence is taking place. So I hope with this map it is better for you to understand what is going on. It is located on the soil that has been deposited after landslides. So that is why the soil's mining capacity is low and also it is in the high seismic activity zone. All right. Let's move ahead to what is the news here. So the news is that don't share details of Joshimat survey with media. So this Joshimat survey we talked about yesterday, it was done by ISRO. And with what did they do it? The satellite was PS in SAR. So persistent scatterers. There was PS and interferometric synthetic aperture did R. So I explained this all to you yesterday. I hope you remember it. I didn't explain what were permanent persistent scatterers. They are basically permanent scat uh, structures which keep on reflecting the radio waves. So they are persistent and scatterers. So their displacement is measured. Any displacement in them is measured through this radar. All right. So let us see that why NDMA has told not to share anything in the public because this information is not completely processed and creates confusion. So this is the reason coming from NDMA. But the important portion here now becomes NDMA. So what is NDMA? So let us learn about the National Disaster Management Authority. So from the name itself, we can pick two things. It is National Authority. That means it is the apex body. And it relates to what? Disaster management. So is it a constitutional body? You may be knowing already there are two types of bodies. One is constitutional and another is statutory. So constitutional bodies are those are mentioned in the constitution or are made by the things mentioned in constitution. Statutory are those made by the law or acts. So this is a statutory body that is NDMA. And it is based on what? Disaster Management Act of 2005. DMA 2005. So this is the act that mandates its structure or building. And it was constituted in December 2006. So this act was passed first in 2005. And this NDMA was structured in 2006. So primary purpose, what is of this body, the primary purpose is to coordinate the response to natural or man-made disasters and for capacity building in disaster resiliency and crisis response. So there are two main goals. First is coordinate the response. And second, capacity building. In disaster resiliency. This word is very important, resilience. We'll know more about it later. First of all, what is to be seen here, it does not actually provide anything at the time of disaster to counter the disaster. It only coordinates the response, also makes policy in capacity building and developing resilience. The forces are the, uh, the one who is doing actual work at the time of disaster. It only coordinates the response. Let us see a few more things from here. So it is also the apex body to lay down policies plans and guidelines. So it is the apex body that manages everything. It's a manager, the supreme manager about our responses to disaster and capacity building towards disaster. Two important points, actually three important points from here are what is adaptation? What is mitigation? And what is resilience? So basically, there are two types of countries right now in the world, which are rich and can afford technology. They go or focus more towards the mitigation. Mitigation means, and this is in the response towards climate change. So they want to mitigate the causes of climate change. Because they have advanced technologies and funding. But the countries 
those do not have the advanced technologies and funding right now and the methods to mitigate the causes of climate change that means the greenhouse gases mostly coming from the energy sector so those countries focus more on the adaptation part that means they accept that there is climate change and there will be results of climate change what we can do is to adapt according to it adapt accordingly so they focus on resilience or capacity building so india is one such country that focuses more on adaptation rather than the mitigation right now